Hello everybody, thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna talk about uh, the Weaviate vector search engine and then uh, specifically from the perspective of uh, threat analysis in cybersecurity. Um, mostly we're gonna focusing on, I'm gonna uh, tell a little bit about what Weaviate is and then we're gonna focus on the demo. Um, and I'm also gonna show, give you some pointers how you can start working with Weaviate yourself. So Weaviate is a, a vector search engine, and um, it's a it's a full uh, cross support database. But the most important thing to bear in mind is that the um, the difference between uh, traditional search engines and vector search engines like Weaviate is that Weaviate focuses on the vector representation of the data uh, that is stored within it. And those vector representations are given to it based on machine learning models. And the simplest way to show you the difference between a traditional search engine and a vector search engine is the following. So uh, let's look at this data object. Uh, so we have here a data object representing a, in this case, uh, cybersecurity threat group. So we have here FIN6. And then you see like a group that has focused on an attacking point of sales devices. Well, if we would store this data object in a traditional search engine and we want to retrieve it, and then we say, for example, we are looking for something related to uh, finance hardware attacks, then it will not find anything because we know that Fin6 is related to these, uh, this query, but, well, the, um, uh, the exact keywords are not matched in this uh, data object. However, when you do this in a vector search engine like Weaviate, it will actually return FIN6 because it knows that there's a relation between finance, hardware, and attack uh, based on a, uh, a group that focuses on attacking point of sales devices. And that is the most important added value of these vector search engines like Weaviate. And as you will see in the demo, a lot of new use cases come from this. So when it comes to the cybersecurity domain, our main focus or our main question that we want to answer is like, can we go from like a rule-based approach to a prediction-based approach? Uh, so um, a little bit about the core features. So we've got two core features. The first one is search, or as we like to say, search and discovery in your data. So the demo that I'm going to show you is completely focusing on search and how to find things using Weaviate. But on the other hand, we also have classification. And the easiest way to think of classification in this context is that Weaviate can automatically make relations in your data sets. So where search, there is some form of human or machine input to get to insights. With classification, you can ask Weaviate to do that automatically. Uh, then we have uh, some other um, uh, well unique features from Weaviate. So first, uh, the modules, as I just described. Um, uh, we have a bunch of them. If you have ideas for modules, we're more than um, uh, happy to hear um, um, you know, how you think we can uh, improve VVA's module ecosystem. By the way, you can also create your own uh, modules. Then we support any media type. So VVA, uh, not only the vector representations that VVA can store, but also the data objects can be of any media type. So within one single VVA, you can store uh, textual uh, text objects and text uh, vec uh, vectors to represent these data objects, but also, for example, images or video. Weaviate itself has a graph-like um, data model. So what you will see when I show the demo to you, we use GraphQL. Uh, GraphQL is used to um, um, not only do the uh, uh, machine learning matching, but also to make traditional graph relations and most importantly, to mix and match them. And then, of course, we focus on Weaviate being scalable and fast. And we're constantly updating and improving Weaviate. So with every release, Weaviate is a bit more, uh, a bit more faster and a bit more scalable. So when it comes to the um, uh, the vertical of cybersecurity, um, uh, we mostly focus on intelligent threat analysis. Um, and meaning that we, we get focuses on structured data. So that can be descriptions, text documents, or those kind of things that are related to um, uh, uh, threat analysis. So for this demo, we're using the Mitra Tech uh, framework. 
for the simple reason that it contains a lot of graph relations but also a lot of unstructured data. Um, we use a WVA Transformers module uh, uh, which is fine-tuned fine -tuned with cybersecurity data. Uh, in this case we use SentenceBird uh, and that brings me to the demo. So when we are in the WVA console, um, we get an interface where we can use GraphQL to query through WVA. And the um, setup how WVA works is actually very simple. So um, WVA has three core functions, meaning that's aggregate, that is explore, and that is get. And uh, aggregate is used to, uh, well, get an, as an aggregate function, so for example, how many objects do, are stored in WVA. Explore is used to search through the complete vector space, but get is used to make a mix of uh, vector searches and graph searches, and that's what we're going to use for the demo. Inside WVA, you have a um, uh, graph like data model, so that means that you can create any class and any property. So in this case, our class and property structure is based on the meter attack framework. So let's take a look at the first one. So let's take a look at threat groups. So threat groups have a, a name and this very simple query says like, get me threat groups and show them, show me their names. So we're running this query, you see a bunch of threat groups. They're not organized in any way, they're just randomly shown based on this uh, query. Um, we can also go uh, add properties, so we can say, for example, say like uh, show the description, and there you see, for example, for copy kittens, uh, you see the the description of the the thread group. So let's go one step back. Now, what we now can do is that we can enable the machine learning model, and in this we've had instance we have two modules enabled, the factorization module and the Q and A uh, module. So that's start by looking at the from the perspective of the Q&A module. So what we can do is that we can say, well, we want to ask a question. Then, of course, we have the question. And um, the question that we want to ask is, who targeted the government in the Middle East? Make an array. That's incorrect. Should like do it like this. We can set the properties that we want to search through, and that is something we want to do based on the uh, descriptions. And then we have so-called underscore properties, additional, where we can say, well, this is where we want to see the answer to the question, and we want to see the result. So very simple question, a query where we say, based on these thread groups, search through the descriptions and show us who targeted the government in the Middle East. So let's run this query. So here we'll find the answer oral rig. Um, what we now can do with uh, Weaviate is that we can say like, well, for example, also include the name of this thread, the description of this thread group. And then you see that the name is actually also oral rig. Uh, but if you're also gonna look at um, uh, the description, uh, then we see that actually inside the description, there's more information about uh, oral rig. And so let's go one step deeper. So let's say like, uh, what kind of attacks does all rig use? And we find that in the document about all rig, the answer is found, which is supply chain attacks. Um, we've now been looking at the graph from the level of the thread group. So let's take a completely different approach and use the supply chain attacks in there. So let's start from the perspective of the attack technique. And so if you now also say, uh, have this simple query where we say get attack techniques and show me the names, then if we run this query, we just get a bunch of attack techniques coming from the Mitra attack framework. Now within we hit, we can do question answering, but we can also do a, a, a near search. So we can also uh, search for neighboring concepts. So let's say, for example, here we have a near text and we're gonna look for concepts, and then for the concepts, let's look at the supply chain attacks. And let's say for this query, limit that to the first 10 results. So if I now run these queries, then with supply chain attacks, then the most neighboring concepts are, of course, well, the supply chain compromise, 
the supply chain compromise or the compromise in hardware supply chain, etc. So a port was opened at the host's firewall. So same query, but we're now going to say, well, inside the, uh, the attack, they somehow opened, uh, 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 they opened a port at the host's firewall. We want to be at least 80% certain, and we want to immediately shown, shown what the known mitigations are for these solutions. And we want to uh, see names for these types of attacks. So thank you very much for listening. My name is Bob van Uyt. Feel free to reach out to me on bob at semi.technology if you want to learn more about how VFiate can help um, in your domain or with your um, the challenges that you have. Uh, on semi.technology, you can also find our open course software so you can play around with it, you can try it out. So I'm looking very much forward to hearing from you and hopefully we can help you uh, taking the next step in uh, intelligent threat analysis. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.